Radio, how to EGD learners. I'm Stephen Klein and this is going to be a very short video. It's number six in the how to hack your pet series and I'm going to show you how to select your best concept going into the working drawings. Let's go. Okay, so let's get going. We're at requirement number four. On, it's on page 12 in your pet document and it's talking about selecting the best possible solution that demonstrates to your moderators and teachers that you have an in-depth understanding of the scenario within the context of the design brief specifications and constraints. That's what they're looking at. They're wanting to make sure you understand what was the design brief with the specifications and that your solution actually speaks to those specifications and constraints. How do they want you to show this? And in this video, I'll actually give you examples of how to do this. But let's just have a look at what it requires. On a separate page, so you've got another A3 page here, compare and evaluate, evaluate the two freehand solutions. So you're putting these two solutions against each other. How do you do that? You have to create a table with minimum of six descriptive criteria. Okay, this criteria, please, cannot be single words. It needs to be a self-explanatory um, criteria. And it can come out of, of course, your design brief with your specifications. Then creating and applying a simple rating scale and that rating scale must also be defined. You must explain how you created the values to score each solution against each criterion. And then you have to justify each score that you eventually give by describing the positive and negative aspects of each solution against each criteria. You have to complete this process by writing then a comprehensive summary at the end of this page, giving reasons for your selected freehand. So you have to motivate why you selected concept one or concept two. And that summary must also include whether any late changes were made to the selected freehand or not. If there were, you must clearly describe it. Now this again speaks with your checklist. And we've just looked at um, freehand drawings in the previous video. So I'm going to zoom in here on number four, which is selecting the best free and solution and this must be a separate presentation again it's a page on its own where's your table do you have a table yes does it show the selection process yes two marks is there a minimum of six descriptive criteria that compares and evaluates yes two marks simple rating scale is there some form of scale there that's clearly understood and that is used to score each solution against each other yes two marks each score is justified, it's motivated by describing the positive and negative aspects against each other. Yes, two marks. And is there a comprehensive summary? Comprehensive summary isn't two sentences, it's a paragraph. With the reasons, can we find reasons in that summary why you've selected the solution? And if there was any late changes, of course, that comes out of this evaluation, you need to indicate that. That's another two that gives you a 10 for this one. Let's have a look at some examples of how th this actually looked in practice. Okay, here we go. This is of course Afrikaans example, but it still applies. Make sure that at the top you've got your number three, four and it clearly specifies selecting the best freehand solution. And then there needs to be your table. Of course, we have to see the table with actual lines drawn, please. And you are going to show us your scale that you used. In this case, it was zero to five with five being excellent and zero non-compliant. So in there, each one of the criteria, they were able to weigh it. So these were then the criteria on the side and you can come up with your own at least six and your score according to your scale that you give each one of these. That's entirely together in a total. And then there's that motivating, that justifying of these scores that you have to add to that and from this we can easily see that freehand concept number two scored 29 and freehand one 19 so the winner here was concept number two and then you summarize that in a comprehensive summary of course i don't think this one is comprehensive but it gives you an idea of what it looks like here's another example okay this one is english missing in this one is the actual numbering of selecting selection of freehand solutions so that needs to be a four in there You've gotten your criteria on the left hand side. You've got your scaling. All right. There 
Uh, actually, that could have been a better explanation, seeing that one is the lowest and three maybe is your best possible. And so here you can see how they've scored it and motivated it. Concept one, concept two, there's a total 16 out of 18 for concept one. It's the winner. And here is the actual comprehensive summary. So that's an overview of how you select your own freehand solution that you seem is best for, in the end, your actual drawing. Hey, thank you for watching. That was a really short video, right? But there's plenty more content to come and on the actual How to EGD channel. So please make sure you do not miss a video in this series. And please do me a favor and share it with your friends and give me a like. Thank you so much. Cheers.